guys, it's rant time with me, yours truly. <laughs> so today I'm gonna go on about a rant about how freaking awesome guys are. If you can't tell by the smile and by the voice, yes you guys, I'm being absolutely very sarcastic right now. <laughs> Where do I start? Uh, I'm gonna put a disclaimer saying that girls aren't all that great either. We are very much guilty in all of these things that I will be talking about. So don't hate on each other. Spread the love and joy of being human. And after you are aware of these things, Make sure that you don't repeat them and make other people feel bad about themselves. Okay, <coughs> so let's go to point one. Wham! A guy starts talking to a girl over the internet or like Twitter or whatever, Facebook. Most likely mostly Twitter or email in the situation. He doesn't usually see her face until she sends him the picture. And another time this is also possible is when your friend gives the guy your phone number or so like when a guy gets a girl's phone number from a friend or a girl gets a phone number from a guy. That's the kind of thing. You guys are talking and everything's cool. You, you think you like the person. The guy's great. The girl's great. And then comes the asshole move. When the guy tells the girl, Hey, you should send me a picture. Oh my god, guys. I swear to god, if the girl doesn't want to send you the picture, don't fucking ask for it. I'm sorry for all this cussing in this video, but seriously, don't ask for the picture unless you expect you, you know, that you can be very disappointed in what you think that they look like. And especially if you are a very shallow person. If you know you're shallow and you know that you only like those skinny model type girls. Don't ask for pictures. Because 99% of the time, you're going to be disappointed. We're not all freaking stick figure mo models. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but no, we're not. Um. Wait. So, yes, we're not all stick model fig uh, figures, nor. Are you always pretty? <coughs> Nor do we always wear makeup. So if you seriously think that we wake up with a face, a flawless face and beautiful skin and absolutely no zits or greasy faces or anything of that sort, you are horribly mistaken. <sighs> Girls, you do the same thing. You know it. Don't. Don't even try to deny it. I know we all do this. You only talk to a guy because he's... Oh my god, he's so hot! <laughs> he may be hot, but he may be really stupid. Or he may be a cheater. Which brings me to number two. Guys, if you're fucking married or in a relationship... Please don't fuck with us. I mean, what the hell do you think you're doing? I take your registration sheets. You know I scan them into the computer. Who do you think does that thing? Uh, uh, me? The receptionist. No. Duh. So, if you fill out the registration form saying that you're married and that you have a wife or you're in a relationship and you have a girlfriend and you 
tell me that you're single and you want my friend's phone number and I don't read through your, your registration sheets until after you talk to my friend. I'm sorry, we're gonna have a problem. Yes, I am calling a person out. Highly doubt that he watches my videos, but I don't give a frick. Another thing, girls, you do the same exact thing. You know guys hot. So you're like, oh, we're just gonna be friends. Fuck that shit. You know that you only are friends with a hot guy because you're waiting for you and your boyfriend to have a disagreement of some sort. You fight and then you run your ass over to the quote unquote hot friend. Uh, I, I guess I can be sort of guilty for this. But, I mean, if you were friends with a guy before, that's a different thing. But if you just recently found a hot guy and you're like, Oh, hey, I want to be in a relationship with him further on. Just hold on. I'm going to keep flirting with him. And then as soon as my boyfriend and I are going to hit break off, I'll run to you. First of all, you guys hate that thing. Because they know if you did it to some other guy, you're definitely going to do it to them. <coughs> and girls absolutely hate that too. So if you know you have girlfriends that are quote unquote hot, and by girlfriends I mean friends that are girls that happen to be really cute, and you know that you're going to uh, make out with them put it bluntly. If you know that you're, you're gonna make up, make out with them as soon as your new girlfriend break up, don't do it. T, you don't need to be in a relationship if you're gonna be hooking up with your friends. You just, seriously, don't fucking do it. Um, number three. Let me think about this one. Um, when you say one thing but mean the absolute opposite, or if you get a girl's number, start chatting her up. Oh, here, this is number three. If you start and get a girl's number and start talking to her, don't even try asking her for her friend's number. What the heck? I mean, you got you got the girls. <coughs> a number. Why do you need a friend? I don't give a damn if she's cute. I don't give a damn if she's a freaking mother. You want a friend's number? You come up to the friend and ask her for her number. You don't date the friend and hope that through that you're gonna get closer to your friend. Because if her friend finds that out, if she's a good friend, she's gonna just tell that girl to dump your ass. I'm sorry. Same with the girls. <coughs> girls, I don't know. If you date a guy to fuck with his best friend, that's going against Broco. First of all. Second of all, he's not gonna go for you. His friend that is. His friend won't go for you. Cause I don't know, for some reason, guys stick to their bro code better than girls stick to their girl code. Which is really sad. Because girls, we tend to be more sensitive and think that, oh, we're best friends, we're gonna be best friends for life, blah, blah, blah. But yet, someone hooks up with another guy, uh, with a, a friend's boyfriend, and uh, drama starts happening, and you guys break, uh, break apart, and you don't ever talk to that girl anymore. That always happens. Yeah, you know, for some reason the guy's pact is stronger. They tend to stay friends for a longer period of time. Um, yeah. So if you want to keep your girl, 
keep your guy. Don't do any of the three things listed above. There's plenty more that I can come up with. But seeing as this video is going up to 10 minutes and I've only gone through three things, I really don't want to bore you with another three to ten things that will make the video into a three hour long video. So I'll just leave it at this and a rant. Not really, I'm gonna keep going on about this in my head, but you know, you do you. Just try not to diss each other. Peace, love, spread joy. Love y'all.